going paddle boating today. I have no idea what paddle boating is, but we're going in the lake. Hopefully we don't have a bad time. And hopefully we don't sink or drown. So we're about to find out. Life experiences. So I'm on my way down or up to back up to Dover. It's like a three and a half, maybe four hour drive. It's not too bad of a drive. Uh, you know, for a couple of days. I gotta get them to I gotta get some reference sheets signed by people that have known me for more than six months. And seeing that I'm new here, and I don't know, but like a couple of people they don't really work out because most of them are related. But I'm about to go up to Dover, which means I'm gonna vlog some lifestyle stuff. Or I'm about to go up to Dover, so that means you know you'll be seeing some more of my my compadres. <laughs> we're about to have a good time. Maybe. One thing I hate about coming is this big ass tunnel that goes underwater. I guess it's the little Chesapeake Bay Tunnel. Thimble Shawl Channel Tunnel. Whatever it is. I don't like driving underwater. Because I don't like to be I don't like to be trapped. I like to have an escape route. I don't like to be trapped in here and shit where you know shit just starts pouring in and I'm just fucked. So I don't know, that's the only part I really hate about driving over here. So the question is how if people crash in the tunnel, how the hell do they get the cars out? Because this is a one-way underwater. So if two people crash, how do they get the cars out? And that would suck to be, you know, stuck in traffic for like an hour underwater in a tunnel. This is a bad day for everybody. So I'm back in this guy's room. Oh my god, here we go again. Just got done playing basketball for three hours straight. From 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. I feel like somebody whooped my ass. <laughs> I want to sleep. I don't even play basketball. That's the thing. Like, I, I, I never played it, it was since like seventh grade. It was the last time I played competitively, like, you know, for a team. But other than that, I played like, I shoot around and bullshit, but I haven't played like a full fucking game until now. And it sucks. It hurts. My body hurts. I hate it. I never want to do it again. But I'll probably do it if we play again. Okay, so I just left the army recruiter, got my paper back or whatever, the Air Force did approve my release. So I am released completely for now while the army tries to pick me up or whatever. But I gotta fill out this little application thing now, this little packet. And then, like they're like within a week, within a week from turning in the packet, they can have me at MEPS, you know, getting ready to go and then bam, bam, boom. Like, but they said there's not gonna be a depth period as far since I was since I'd be going reserve, it's not gonna be that I'm not gonna have to go through the whole five month depth or whatever like I would if I was going to active duty. So that's a good thing I guess. Um other than that though, they want me to come back up to Dover on Monday. I leave Dover to go back to Virginia Sunday, but they want me to come back Monday to turn in all my stuff with my birth certificate and social security card, which is back in Virginia, and that's not happening. So uh we're gonna see how this plays out. So I'm drastically hunting for my birth certificate and high school diploma. I can take these army people. I don't know where it's at. But hey, uh, I found my Thunderbolt award. Ow. <laughs> From basic training that meant absolutely not a thing. So hey, you know. Welcome to Dover. So I found, I found my diploma. Luckily. Um, but I still haven't found my birth certificate. But I found another Thunderbolt award. I don't know why I have two of those in my little footprint thing that they gave me from basic training when I when they scanned my feet the first night. So interesting what you find in random boxes full of old stuff. Always always keep your keep any papers that you get from the military or just in general any any forms that you get documents. Just get like a folder, get a box, put all your stuff in it. It's a good way keep up with stuff because you never know when you're going to need something like right now I never thought I would ever need my diploma again or my birth certificate I have like medical records and stuff I still have all this I got a bunch of papers pretty much every paper I ever got in the military that was somewhat semi-important or had personal information I kept it so keep on to your stuff because you never know when you'll need it boom you know what that is that's a birth certificate I found it I'm in business luckily I kept it with me didn't send them back home so yeah boom I gotta put all this shit away god damn it so for this job interview or for this job at Lockheed Barton or whatever, I gotta fill out all these 520 questions, like random ass fucking questions, like, like fucking evil spirits, do they possess me at times, true or false? It's like stuff that, that I just, <laughs> I don't understand what my sex life is satisfactory. Why do they need to know this? 
in this Sounds of Tri-State store, getting my sub fixed. I got a lot of, because right now my subs like cutting in and out or clipping or something, I don't know what it is. So they're gonna look over it and hopefully, hopefully they do it for free. Cause I didn't, I didn't, he didn't say nothing about the price and I don't have money to give him to look at something just to flip a switch and everything's okay. So I don't know, hopefully, hopefully my sub goes back to normal because I paid too much money for that, so. So I ran over a curb today and I got stuck. Like the side of my car literally got stuck on the curb because my car is, my car is dropped. So I, like I tried to make the turn too sharp and like I went up on it and I heard like <laughs> and I was like, ah. So I got stuck and I had to reverse off. Uh, luckily, it didn't really do anything. It just like scraped up the bottom of the side of the car. And you know, if you know what I mean. My Plasti Dip has lasted pretty good so far, but now bird shit is eating into it. So I'm gonna have to redo it. But it lasted a good like what four months, five months probably. And like a couple of spots up here. Well, you can see it's starting to it's starting to fade a little bit. But I mean, I think it did only say it was supposed to be good for three months or so like that. But whatever. But. You know, it's still lasting up a little bit. We'll be good. I don't know about y'all, but I've been on this game. Excuse my screen. It's Clash of the Clans game. Non-stop for like three months straight. So, I don't know why it's so addictive, but it's caught, it's kept me occupied for some time. And he's over there caking and shit. And being a cake master. That's all they do all day is just talk to each other on FaceTime. They're so gay. So Luong, Luong thinks that the proper way to cook a hot dog is to boil it. No, I said to grill it. To grill, oh, okay, that, no, there's no, no, you didn't. You said fucking I boil. I you can grill it. You can cook it however you want to cook it. He likes to bake hot dogs. Let's oh put it that God. way. He, he, he bakes hot dogs. <laughs> Luong bakes hot dogs. Here's an overview for y'all that wanted a view of the gym. This is everything that they have pretty much. You see all the free weights are in the back by the mirror. They have treadmills over there by the windows. And these guys right here. And then these are all like the machines right here. And then you got the basketball gym slash volleyball court in here. It's a nice little decent gym. And then we got the big balls for y'all people that like big balls. Okay, first of all, excuse my trunk, but for any of my car audio people that um, are following me, my sub is like, it'll play and then it'll cut out like every five seconds, like whoop, and then it'll cut out. But at low volume, it'll play normal. So I took it to the place that installed it and they're talking about my ground wire was like coming undone or something like that. And uh, yeah, I have no idea where my ground wire is at. I don't know where they said it was at. I don't know if it's gonna be that gray wire over there. I don't think it's none of these. Um, I'm assuming it would be like grounded in, unless it's under my mat somewhere. So my ground wire, I'm assuming, is this my ground wire? This black right here? Is that what my black, is that what my ground wire is? They said my ground wire was loose or dis disconnected or something. But there's a whole bunch of fucking wires and I don't know what is what, so I'm guessing it's this black one because it's going into the actual metal of the car but where else does that connect to never mind i actually sat back here and played with it and figured out my problem it was apparently this or my ground wire was in there but this one wasn't in my amp so um yeah i just did it and put it in there to see if it played and it played like before it was like bass it like hit like boom and cut out and five seconds later, it cut back in, but figured it out. And the guy was trying to charge me thirty dollars to just do this, doop, and that was it. But you know, I decided to mess with it myself and see what happened. So I'm in business again. I'm here with Christopher. No, you're <laughs> 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 What the fuck is that? <laughs> Christopher and and this one, we're doing the photo the shoot. Fuck are you doing? Fellow cops. What's the matter, Christopher? <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? And Patrick here. He's on the phone. He missed you, YouTube. Patrick missed you. And she's doing laundry. Patrick. Patrick and Jennifer. What did you do? These lovely cops here at Dover. 
Let's save the world. One idea at a time. Remember that lifestyle. Everybody say bye to Ryan. We're leaving. Just got done doing a photo shoot. What do you have to say? He's camera shy. But really, he wants to say, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lucky y'all didn't see that, you two. My car, Luong's car. Mine looks lower than yours right now. Oh, it? Yes, it does. How, how do you feel? My, my lip looks lower than yours. Oh, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Look, From back here, you, you tell me, whose car looks lower? Mine or Luong's? Okay, now yours, okay, never mind. It is the angle I was walking. Yours looks a little bit lower. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. Go home, bro. So it's 2.45 in the morning, still awake. I had to edit these pictures. I've been sitting here watching Charlemagne on Vlad TV talk about everything. Uh, but yeah, I've been editing Cabrera, the girl you saw me from, or the pictures, the girl you saw in the previous video from there. I'm in the process of editing her stuff and sending it to her. By the way, if you're in Virginia, you know, you need some pictures done, some photo shoots, hit me up. Uh, let me Leave me a comment or something, you know, if you want some done. Uh, just let me know, or if I give you my email, just let me know, be like, hey, just mention that too cool for school guy or whatever, I'll give you a discount. I'll do it for like $20. It's like, it's $20, however many photos you want, pretty much. I'm just, you know, I'm snapping away, it doesn't matter. It's not like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cheat you out of, out of your $20. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you your money's worth of pictures and product. So don't think I'm gonna get like $20 and give you like, 15 bullshit photos you're gonna have like a good maybe 200 300 photos depending on how long it goes and how many outfits you go and all that and whatever you know but you know hit me up let me know uh i can do this for you if you need it done you know aspiring artists uh people that just want portfolios as you can see i have on my um bmt frames of choice you know these are the ones they give you i don't know if you can see them these are like your ones you get with your blues when you're not wearing bcgs they're all right. I mean, the prescription is probably it's still somewhat the same. I don't have any glasses, or I have like four glasses, but I don't know where none of them are. It's the only reason I'm wearing my frames of choice. But I mean, I guess they work. I had to take my contacts out, but you know. Oh, for y'all that wanted, I gave y'all an Instagram a long time ago. For y'all that wanted it, I gave y'all my photography one, which was the Minister Photography, which I'll leave below. And I'll give you my personal Instagram too for y'all that want to follow me. But y'all that follow my personal Instagram, I'm apologizing ahead of time for some of the ratchetness that may be displayed on my personal Instagram. So just forewarning, I'm gonna list my personal Instagram down below. So y'all can follow me. Bow. Oh, and to those of y'all uh, that wanted me to make the separate channel for my beats, I will, I'm working on that. I'm getting there. I might make it tonight. I just haven't got around to it, but I didn't forget about y'all. I will make that and I'll let y'all know in the next video. This is another reason why it takes so long for me to get y'all videos. Look at that. 886 minutes. And chances are that it's not even going to upload. So, this is what I got to deal with when trying to upload videos, which is why it takes a long time. Every time I come on base, it never fails. These little fuckers are here in the pink that sell you like this little spray wax thing. Like, never leave me alone every time. And this guy just literally stood there and had like a whole 10 minute conversation with me about absolutely nothing while I was pumping gas. Like, I was done pumping my gas. I wanted to go, but he was like standing like right by my door. So I couldn't really get into it. You know, I wanted to be mean and be like, hey, dude, you get the fuck out the way. I'm trying to leave. But, you know, I was forced to talk to him about 10 minutes about tattoos. Why? I don't know. I hope I never see none of these people ever again. I hate these pink shirt people. Archie Bunker just got back from her deployment, aka Nazario, fresh from the desert. She's here. Oh, look, it's, hey, is that Jeff right there? Jeffrey. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. I mean, YouTube missed you. <laughs> but yeah, Nazario's back from the desert. I never told y'all she. Oh, Arboleta, excuse me, she's married to a seaman. All these people just got back from deployment. All these sexually frustrated individuals. Here with their spouses. Somebody's gonna get pregnant tonight. I sense it. So I'm just now logging back on on my fan page or whatever, and I see this. Oh man, 72 messages. I'm gonna try to get back to y'all. That's more than I thought was gonna be here. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try.
That's all I can say. It's the Amish Mafia in front of us at Walmart. Watch out, because Lebanon Levi is in down. And his horse taking a goddamn day in the parking lot. Uh, uh.